My congratulations to you, Sir Percy. As always, everything planned down to the last detail. Only this time, you have overlooked one little thing. There is no way off this island except back over the causeway. And if you care to look out of that window, you will see my men, my own men, standing guard. Sink me. So they are. But then, if you would care to look out of that window, you would see me yacht, the daydream, wait in just offshore to take Lady Blakeney, Armand, and my men safely back to England. My hat is off to you, Sir Percy. You've done it again. Percy! A gentleman always removes his coat. Stand away. This pleasure is all mine. Finish it off, man. Or do you lack the courage? I always like to give a man a sporting chance. Oh, the English. And their stupid sense of fair play. Exactly so, my dear Chauvelin. Which is why I think in your case, fair play to leave your fate in the hands of Robespierre and his committee. Take him away and strip him. I shall need his styleless garments to persuade the guard at the causeway that I am Citizen Chauvelin, Louis-même. You're not going away. I won't let you. My darling, I must. I promised Armand that I would bring Louise safely back to England. Not this time. I will pose as Chauvelin and go to Paris in your place. Perhaps in this small way I may atone for my mistakes. No, neither of you are going. It's too dangerous. Percy, you mustn't let him do it. Sir, your wardrobe. Aha. Uh -huh. I will confess, this is one role that I was loath to play. The honor, my dear Armand, is all yours. Godspeed, my friend. 